Hi, everybody. Okay, so you're going to get a little clip of me here, but then I'm going to send you over to the main video that I recorded yesterday. But I woke up this morning and I realized there were two things I hadn't um, told you that I think are pretty important for a frame of reference with what I'm going to offer you in this video. So remember this as you listen to the rest of this. First of all, and I'm not going to give you any context, but you'll get that as as you launch into the main part of the video. Anyway, um, we are right now transmuting and clearing what we'll call 3D dense energies. Remember, cell dividing, I talk about that, um, but that's happening in us too, okay? I want you to know that. I know we talk a lot about, like I say, the external world, our relationships, all these things we separate from, but what you want to know and what this video is about is that we're transmuting 3D dense energies that no longer serve individually in our bodies, which is why we don't feel great lots of times. And can it can be very, like my journey has been torturous. <laughs> I'm not saying it's going to happen to everybody, but we clear for ourselves our dense energies, but there are some people, some of us, that actually clear well, we're all clearing for the collective in some way, but some of us have a bigger, um, I'll just say, transmutation role. But that's kind of neither here nor there. But I just want you to understand that everybody does this, okay? But we don't understand how it affects our body. And that's what this video is about. But I want you to know what you're doing is you're transmuting, clearing, denser 3D energies that no longer serve as we move to 5D. So you're you're very likely going to feel it in your body. And there may be some new sensations that are not comfortable. I'm not trying to scare anybody at all. It, it all depends. Just, you know, listen to the video. You, you'll understand this better. Additionally, in the video, I talk about this practice that I give you and using it. Frankly, I use it in the morning and then I use it at night. Um, but you can use this any time that you're just not feeling right. Okay, and you can't identify what it is, and that's not the important part. But regardless, we are clearing dense 3D energies in our own life, in our, but it's our bodies, okay? Our bodies have to go through this too, because we're cellularly changing, all right? Keep that in mind, because it can get kind of scary sometimes when we have these bodily things happen to us and we don't understand. But that said, this practice, when these things start to happen to you, you know, go into the practice. The other thing that I really want you to know is, Again, I say this over and over. This is not a sideshow. I talk about this at the end. You want to get your practices in place because it is the show, right? What we're going through now is why we're here. So get those practices in place. Um, use this process for when you're just feeling off kilter, but also regularly. So for example, yesterday, I'm on the tennis court and I'm feeling funky and I'm like, Oh gosh, this isn't great. So as I'm playing tennis, I actually did the process. I know that sounds crazy, but you're gonna hear it here. I know we got the cart before the horse, but I think you'll get this. I just wanted to give you this information up front. And of course I could keep talking forever and have a whole other video on here, but I'm gonna launch you over to the me of yesterday talking about the premise of this video. All right, thank you. Hi everybody, I'm back today to offer you, not so much what I'll just say is, a guided meditation. That's not what this is at all. It's more a process that you can use during these, I'll just say, highly energetic times, um, whatever is being presented to you. Um, what we're going to talk about today, we're going to use the cell dividing as our metaphor. As most of you know who have followed me for a while, Back in the early days of my channeling, they've always started talking about the new earth, old earth by showing a cell dividing and that bridge and how that stress, right, of the pulling apart from old earth, 3D, new earth, 5D, is that bridge. We're going to talk about that today as our metaphor and how that is personalized for you and a process you can use to help yourself move more fully and with greater ease from this split, new earth, older. Okay, so with that today, first of all, I'm going to introduce myself. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Carolyn Zeiser. I offer channeled messages, distance energy healing, and spiritual awakening mentoring for your support during your awakening, ascension, and life journey. So you can check out all my services at purplerainhealing.com. 
link below. Also, I do offer an email list that you can subscribe to where I offer a poetic message every week of support from the Light Keepers, who are a group of angelic beings I channel. And you can also click the link below that will take you to my email list. You'll get a free video on flow, first of all. And then you can sign up for the weekly emails. Basically what it is, it's not promotional stuff that I do. I send you a poetic message from the Light Keepers that will support you in the week forward. That's what I use my email list for. So join me there too. So anyway, let's get going on this. So that said, I want you to think of the idea of a cell dividing, okay? How I have always talked about it, how they presented it to me to present to you is old earth, new earth. This is what's happening. It's a cell dividing, that visualization with that bridge. We talked long and hard about what that looks like for the collective in my past videos. That's why we're seeing all of what we're seeing out there now, right? Old earth stuff, right? New earth stuff being brought in by us, light workers, by new ways of thinking, by shedding what doesn't serve, this whole process, right? Old earth is still doing its thing and, you know, shedding itself too. But there's this bridge. This is the tearing apart, okay? You know how you feel sometimes like, um, how do I live the spiritual journey but also the human life? This is part of it, okay? But it also can affect the mind, body, and soul. So just know that it's not just about what we're seeing here in the day to day. It can also affect our bodies because we are like a cell dividing as well in our bodies and that can cause a lot of stress. So it's happening within our bodies as well and our minds, but also in the spiritual journey, literally, that we see outside our doorstep is, because as, as you know, we're taking the body along, is we are dividing. Okay, we are moving out from the old ways, we're just gonna call it 3D, okay? And we're moving into 5D. And if you can think of the vesica Pisces, the circle, overlaying a circle with an elliptical piece inside, for this, I guess, guidance session, uh, this will be your best way of understanding what I'm about to say. So, we're talking old 3D, think of two circles, 5D, but we're overlaid, right? Guess what? We are starting now to pull apart from that vesica Pisces, the circle overlaying the circle, to the point where the circles are like this, okay? I hope I'm showing this properly. <laughs> I'm not fancy in my videos, as you can tell. So the circles, instead of like this, are now like this, but we're all individual, and our bodies are going through it, our minds are going through it, so we're tearing apart, okay? We're tearing apart, our bodies can feel it, and it is something that you're not gonna know necessarily is occurring, right? But it's an old energy of old 3D that is separating out from us, mind, body, soul, and literally, okay, as we move into the new 5D way of operating in this connection only to our divine source, nothing, not this external connection to what we consider to be what is, right? But the power the protection, the force is all coming from the divine light, your divine source, okay? Whatever you want to call that. The divine source is what I always say, right? For myself. So a lot of us do this back and forth thing because we're learning how to live in a, I guess I'll just say higher um, place of existence, growing consciousness, but we also get pulled back into that old world. And we know that every single day, how we feel, things that happen to us, and then we're back in our spiritual space, right? And then we're back in that. So this is this old earth, new earth idea of the bridge that's still there. This is the tearing apart and it is happening now. Now, this is wave upon wave upon wave. Remember, some of us are right now feeling the tearing apart, I'll just call it, in our bodies because we do have energies that don't want to leave us, right? Energies that are part of who we are. Okay, I'm not talking about other energies, entities, attachments. We're not talking about that. We're talking about yourself, okay? We're talking about yourself that can feel very stressful inside your body, in your mind, and it's a tearing, they keep telling me it's a tearing apart. It's the old leaving and the new coming. Now, the old leaves also, right, in the day-to-day, -day, we talk a lot about that, the material part of that, right? Like friendships are leaving, works shifting and changing, um, marriages, relationships, what we're choosing to do. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about what is happening within ourselves, okay, within the body, all right? All the other's gonna happen too, this pulling apart, but what we wanna be able to do is then sit up, 
set up a new foundation of drawing only from the higher light, from your divine source. And that is all you need, okay? That is all you need in being able to feel whole, feel powerful, be the creator being that you are in this journey to 5D. Because remember, what we're doing is we're having this pulling apart, okay? And that old energy doesn't want to leave. So you may feel stress, strife within all of this, okay? And the pulling apart. I mean, there's a lot of different kinds of symptoms that can happen with this, right? We're all unique. But my point in this is understanding that your old self, there's big parts of that for you and the collective that doesn't want to leave, okay? It can present in many different ways. The new part of you is moving forward, okay? And we are now at that circular point starting to be as a collective where we look like this. I wish <laughs> look like this, right? So basically where the circles are are not no longer overlapping like this they're more like this old earth new earth but this is you you got to think about this in terms of your body too you have an old 3d i'll just say version of you right energetically and you have this new earth version because as we've always said yeah this is a collective effort but it starts with the individual and it starts physically emotionally and mentally as well but I today want to give you a process to help you manage through the physical, emotional, and mental part of this. So hopefully today, though, this process will assist you. It is super powerful. You have to take the time to do it, and you really have to just center yourself. So I'm going to walk through it. It is not a guided meditation. Make it your own process, but I'm going to tell you the steps, okay? This is used for... I'll just call it protection, which we don't really need. I'm just going to tell you that right now. We do this thing of thinking we need protected. We're all going through that, right? We don't really need that because we're powerful enough to know that we have our divine source, and we do not need that. But that's a process <laughs> that unfolds down the road. So, you know, do what works for you. Okay, so within this um, process, the whole goal of this is to be able to center in yourself and pull only on your divine source and have that divine light coming in as a as a uh, a tube of light flowing in and we're going to go through this and all the way down through the root now that's the very basic part of this but we're going to do some things in the meantime to get you set up for that process but then also more intricate pieces of this process for the whole of your body and chakra system so what you're going to want to do is get yourself in a meditative space so here's what i do this is me I have Husqvarna um, uh, ear protection because I mow my yard, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I use that because I like silence, okay? But you're going to get yourself in a meditative space, in a quiet space, all right? Don't just do this on the fly. Um, in a meditative space, and what you're going to do to really center in your body, because this is what you're going to want to do, is first of all, take some really deep breaths. I like to you do it how you want, but just don't do it fast. Do them slowly. I would do at least three all the way in, all the way out. I'm not going to tell you how to do it or what I do. You can figure that out. But anyway, to center yourself and center your breathing. And then what you're going to want to do is feel into your body. So an idea for this is to take your right foot and start with the toes, okay, so with the big toe. Wiggle the big toe and then just let it sit there and then feel it in your mind's eye. Feel it. You might start to get like some kind of a tingling. Um, it might take a while. And, you know, do the best you can. You don't force it. Just just gently focus your effort on only your right toe, your right toe, and then the other toes. And then just see what you feel, getting a sense of that. What you're trying to really do is center in your body, right? But again, gentle. Don't force it. Don't say, oh, I have to do this. No. And then when you feel like you spent enough time on there, regardless of what you felt or noticed, your attention has been there, move to your left foot and do the same thing, the left big toe, and then move through the other toes. And then cross back over, you can do it again twice, or you can just go ahead and go do both feet together. And what you're doing is just focusing on those toes, focusing on those toes. And then you can focus on the entire foot, the balls of the foot, the heels, or excuse me, the arch, and then the heels. You're really wanting to just get a sense of the feeling of that foot, those feet, right? Then you're gonna do it with your hands, same thing. I'm not gonna go through the detail. Do the same thing with your hands, okay? And then you're really getting kind of centered in the body. And then what I want you to do is to be able to just really become like butter in your body. Again, I could walk you through a guided meditation on this. I'm not going to do that because I want you to make this your own. 
because um, that's when I think things are more powerful even. Anyway, what you're going to do is you're just going to feel like butter in your body. Just feel like butter in your body. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start by going up to your source. Okay? You're ready. You're in your, and you're doing this in your mind's eye. You're not doing any, you don't have to do any movements. You're still, you're meditating. You're visualizing this. This, um, I'll just call it a, a clear tube. Okay? You whatever you want to call it, a crystalline tube coming down through your head, okay, connecting you with your divine source, coming all the way through and going down into the ground, into the crystalline core of the earth. Now, we all kind of know about that. We're connected to the divine source, but here's the difference is what we're going to do is we're going to pull in that divine light. I don't know, you can use it as like a straw, whatever metaphor you want to use, or you can just see it coming in. You can um, um, pull it in you know, like a sipping kind of thing, um, and pulling in that divine light. But again, you want to be, you want to be conscious, you know, you really want to focus on doing this, okay? And, but not hard energy, this is not hard energy, this is, you're still in that meditative state, you're pulling in that divine light, and what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to bring, and we're not going to worry about the top chakras right now, you're going to bring that flow in to that, from that tube, and you're going to let it pull in the voice chakra, and you're going to feel it. Just And if you don't, don't worry about it. It's still happening, okay? You're, what you're going to do is you, a lot of us will feel that. And you're going to feel it just kind of pull there. You might feel a um, vibration. You might notice warmth. Whatever it is, it's for you, right? Anyway, even if you don't feel anything, you're just going to have a knowing of when it's ready. And so then, once it pulls in that throat chakra, what you're going to do is like 90 degree angle, come out the back of that chakra. And what it's doing is it's cleaning out. It's cleaning that chakra out. So you're bringing in the divine light from source into your throat chakra. You're allowing it to pool. And then it's coming out the back. And then, here's the thing, what's it look like in, in those chakras? I'll give you an example. When we got to, when I got to my heart chakra, which is also affects the lungs and the breathing, oh my gosh. And this is where I've held a lot of my energy in over time. We'll talk more about that. But anyway, what came out was just a gush, a constant gush. So you'll get different visualizations for each chakra, very potentially. If you don't, don't get hung up about it. Just keep doing this, okay? Um, so what this is doing, this is clearing out old energy that doesn't serve you. This is clearing out, again, old 3D stuff that doesn't serve you. It's clearing your chakras. You're going to do each chakra, okay? Pool in the heart chakra. And let it pool. And you're going to move it out the back. Okay? Move it out the back. You're going to do this with your solar plexus. And you're going to do this then with your sacral and your root. Kind of do that. You can do that together or separate. Um, I just do it together. And But what you're going to want to do, because you're going to flow the divine light through and down and out into the ground, particularly for people who aren't grounded like me. <laughs> I'm big up here and i got little teeny legs, right, in my field. Um, oh, I forgot one thing that I need to tell you that you want to do, you can do first. It doesn't really matter, but, um, well, this is actually just a tip for you to um, seal your field. Anyway, we'll come back to that. So when you're down at the root, as you're getting ready to bring that light in, you can pull it down there, but what you're going to do, and this is going to, women are going to understand this, men, you might not. It's it's kind of like, um, how do I want to say this? It's like a kegel exercise where you're protract or protracting you're um it's kind of like this is this is my metaphor a suction cup to the earth with your groin area okay um a kegel exercise is a good example of it where you um and you're not going to tighten your body it's just that area you're just gonna you're gonna it's and it kind of shift shifts and then you think of a suction cup on the ground okay so um do it in any way that makes sense for you. I hope that is explainable. Um, so really you're kind of attaching to the earth, okay? And then and this one's the most powerful for me because probably because I'm not grounded typically. That light will be coming through from our divine source, from source, and it's going to flow down and you're going to feel it. At least I have. Um, everybody's different, but and it just goes down to the earth. You just feel it go down into the crystalline core of the earth. And so what you've got is... You're clearing all your chakras out. And this is really important now 
I mean, you could do energy healings and things like this, but I'm telling you right now, the reason I'm giving you this is when we take our power back over everything, anything, it's huge. It's great to have practitioners. As I've said before, you want to have them in your back pocket. But the key here, and I have found this recently with myself, is, oh my gosh, when you start realizing, wait a minute, I'm going to take the initiative to do this process, to do this ceremony, to do this meditation, to do this ritual, and I'm going to be the one to clean my chakras out. And I'm going to be the one, again, to remove the density. That's what we're doing. The density of the 3D. It is tearing in our bodies. Some of us are going to feel that in a big way. This process will help you get through that and not let that old energy, that old density stick with you because it wants to. It is a big part of who you are. It wants to. Okay, so remember that. It's, it's not going to feel pretty if it's affecting your body, sometimes your mind, and then your outer world. And we, we talk all about the outer world because we're very materialistic, right? And, and the whole idea, I don't mean materialistic, but we're, we're, we're very much as human-centered in the material world to see, feel what's, you know, a thing, right? I'm talking about this energetic part of this with the body, mind, and soul, okay? So the density doesn't want to leave, so it's grabbing onto you in whatever way that means for you, okay? Some of you might not feel this, but I'm giving this to you in case you do. It's a wonderful practice. I'm doing it every day. And then what's happening is it's helping you you clear out in that process that I just used of moving out that energy through your chakras, through the back and watching that flow, okay? And then what's happening is that's a lot, well, we're not quite done, but so what we've got here then is that removing of the density. And now what you're going to do after you've gone through your whole chakra system, okay, you're going to go ahead and relax into light. Allowing yourself, your entire body, and you can create an energy body that you look at and you see, or you can work it through your own body. You know, you can just have a representation of an energy body that's you. It's the same thing. It's whatever you choose to create. What you're going to do is just fill your body with light and become expansive. It's you're, But you're not working hard. You're not doing anything. You're just see, letting it happen. You're allowing it. And you're just in a space of calm serenity and this expansiveness, some of you might see it, might feel it. Again, you're not working at this. There's nothing to do. You allow the light that we have been having flow from the divine source in to fill your entire being. All right? To fill, I always use an energy body double um, for myself. I don't use my, I guess, the visualization of my own self, if that makes sense. That's just how I like to work. It works either way. Um, and then what you're going to do is, and this is where for me, this whole thing for me, and you can use as much time as you want or as a little bit, don't rush, is about a half hour. I've noticed 25 minutes. Um, and then this is where you really want to just let this ener energy grow good. Let the light grow. Let it grow. And this is where you become, can come to the point over time where you're going to feel so expansive and you're going to feel like the universe. There's, there's, uh, uh, again, don't have big expectations right away, but what I will say to you is over time you're going to feel your light. You're just feeling your body through your arms and your legs, and all you are is light. You're light, and then you're expanding out, and you can just kind of feel how... What happened with me is I could feel the angelics. Like, I've never had this happen. I, I, I don't see or feel a lot for my own self, which is really weird because I do it for clients, like spades, right? Or in spades. But is what you're going to do is you're going to feel this this expanded version of yourself. And what happened with me is the angelics were out there. I could feel them, but I was just light. And it's my body. We're just filling our physical vessel with light. With light. It's a protective measure as well as a cleansing. And most particularly what this is doing is allowing you to rid yourself of any density that no longer serves. And this is that 3D energy that can feel pretty rough when you're moving into 5D. So that's the split apart for you, okay? You're going to feel it in many ways. And you're not going to necessarily know that's what this is, okay? Because it, I will tell you, for everybody, it can feel a little bit different and um, pleasant, unpleasant, whatever. But what I would say is just do this practice. Don't worry about figuring out if you need it for this. Just do this practice, because you're gonna, it's going to be well worth it as you journey forward, is what I will say. 
Do it as often as you want. I'm doing it every night before I go to bed. I'm using it as a, um, I'm having a lot of issues or I've had a lot of issues this last year and I've told you a little bit about my journey. I've finally gotten down to the kind of original or the foundational story of this, but I'm having this situation with the, the 3D not density, not wanting to leave me. It's an ancient, ancient old energy that wants to stay with me from the inception of time and that wants that served at one time but doesn't serve any longer and doesn't want to leave but it's me it's old me it's a part of me but it presents out like it's not it can kind of feel like oh my gosh i mean seriously i'll just be honest with you like i'm being possessed that's not it though turns out it's me okay it's old dense me i think it's going to make a lot of sense to a lot of you and hopefully maybe frame up some of the things you're feeling so it's really about us just taking our power back and going, wait, I can do this. And this is me. This is my energy, right? This is old 3D density Carolyn leaving from antiquity, right? And moving into 5D. And that old density doesn't want this. But guess what? We're only being guided from our divine light source now. That's where I get all of my power. That's where I get everything. That's where I get my answers. It's not the external world. It's not the old 3D. It's this new way of living and that's what we're feeling now is this stress and strain and that pulling apart a little bit of the death of right the old it's happening i will tell you that it's happening now and the other thing that i want you to know with this process and I, i'm just you can do this beforehand i think this would be good to do in the beginning it's part of this process i'm just i've used it in different places um but you want your auric field to, you could do this before you start your process. You go into meditation and you do this. You really don't want your auric field to be out here like this, okay? When it's out here like this, you're just like a big old invitation, right? What you want to do, and this doesn't have anything to do with how much love and light and power you have at all, okay? What you're going to do is you want that to be about two inches out. So you're just going to mold it. You can actually just do this in a meditation mold it all the way around because what you're doing is you're bringing it tighter in not on top of the body but not not on top of the body but you're bringing and molding around you okay all the way down to the toes and the feet and all that power is coming in closer okay rather than this hello everyone i'm here uh, so we, we, we want to be able to use it from this space okay that our power center bring it into our power center okay so um, again, you'll do that. You'll do that molding around of your body and then you can go into this process that I gave you. Now, um, let's fast forward to the very end of this where I was saying you're filling yourself with light, filling yourself with light, and then you just stay there as long as you want and see how expansive you can get. Again, you're not doing anything. I don't want you to think hard. I don't want you to have expectations. I just want you to let things happen. Have the intent. I'm going to fill myself with light and let it go. And when you're ready, you just basically finish up and you let that light source just continue to flow through you. Now, you can use this throughout the day, too. You can use this at any point in time. I was using it when I walked the other day. I'm like, oh, I'm going to just practice pulling in on my divine source. This is my only source, my source of protection, my source of answers, my source, source of energy. That's where it's coming from. Not out here, not all 3D density. And when we say no more to the 3D density and we source only into this, and we're focused on the, the movement forward and the power that we have as our unique spiritual self, guess what? The 3D density can't hang with us any longer, okay? And it can feel pretty icky when it does, is what I will just tell you, because guess what? It doesn't resonate anymore. So today we are talking about not the material world, oh, your relationship's changing or your um, work is changing, you know, three, you know, the density leaving, the moving into the more creative expansive space we're not talking about the actual material stuff we're talking about the spiritual energetic part of us the mind body and soul that can be very affected by density by 3d leaving and us moving into 5d we're all at different stages but i'm telling you right now there are some of us where we're butting up against this like this and that's that tearing apart that it is not happy with okay so again this is not to put fear in at anybody because it is all about you being able to recognize these patterns within you. And I would say to you, if you could even do this for 10 minutes a day, I think you will really start to notice a difference. You can just work it into your main meditation practice or change it out. That's what I've done. 
So our lives do change as we go through this spiritual journey. We start swapping out things that don't make sense for us anymore and making space for new kinds of practices. Um, and so what I would say is remember, what we are going through is the big show. It's not a sideshow. It's not a hobby. This spiritual journey, this awakening journey, it's not a hobby. It's not a, oh, I'm going to do this when I want to. It is the show. It is why we're here. It is the big show. <laughs> I will say that over and over and over again. Many of you know this, but we don't always know this. It can be a journey to feeling as though, well, I'll dabble in this or I'll do my meditation or whatever. Guess what? This is the show, the awakening ascension journey of humankind. And every single person is going through it, whether they know it or not. We just happen to be very uh, consciously aware and awake. And I guess I would just say, fortunate in many ways, right? Sometimes it can feel like it's not fortunate, but wouldn't you rather know what's happening to you um, through being able to learn and know what kinds of um, information to go and search out, right? Rather than just having things happen and, and ha really feeling lost. So be glad that you chose to awake in this lifetime. I thank you for everything that you're doing. Um, you're a very important part of this. And I hope that this walkthrough of uh, a potential meditation that you can use has been helpful to you today. So again, reach out purplerainhealing.com if you would like to work with me where I help guide you through your awakening journey. We channel information for you. We deal with past, present, future, and we also help you understand how the things happening in your current lifetime are really a spiritual understanding. We help you understand that big picture, past, present, future, as I said, and we're going to give you a lot of practical advice to help you on your journey forward in your awakening, ascension, and your life journey. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this was helpful and that you employ some of these practices as you move forward. And I would be happy to hear about your thoughts along these lines and if it works for you down the road. All right, everybody, again, thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video. <music>